Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? It is mid-season patch, which means there's a bunch of new things. Uh, specifically, the Nickelodeon skins and the um, the earring tree. Basically, there's a new tree of items. I haven't really gone over them because I watched the patch notes on my stream, so I did make a video about it, but uh, I'll show you real quick. Once I load in here, I'm just going to grab some, some generic-ass items. And then I will show you. So, uh, let's see. Where are these? The earrings are right here. This one is Fabulous Hoops. Basically, it's a healing one. Whenever you heal someone, or like at literally anyone, uh, it drops a flower. You pick up the flower. You get a 7.5% max HP shield. Pretty fucking OP. The other one is the damage item. You damage something. Or, or you, you CC something, it drops a spike, you pick up the spike, your next ability does 3% damage, you, you can double spike people for 6% of their health. And then the one that's the most important one, at least for this video, is uh, increasing your cooldown reduction cap from 40% to 60%, meaning, basically, I get a lot more abilities. Now, don't get, don't get me fooled, it does lower your damage and healing by 20%, so it's not like... It comes at no cost, because that would be insane. But, I mean, let's see, 20% more abilities for 20% less damage. I'd say it probably evens out, assuming you hit your abilities. And then, uh, obviously, we got the Danny Phantom skin, which is just fucking amazing. You can see the one here. I'll, I'll plop this down for you real quick. The little portal, if you guys remember the Danny Phantom portal. Um... And then I can even use my special and turn into Normie Boy Danny Phantom. And then as soon as I auto attack, boom, I'm ready to fight ghosts. Uh, let's see. What other ones? Oh, there's there's one more hoop to talk about, and that's Griffin Wing. Griffin Wing is 40% increased projectile speed. Basically making your auto attacks hit scan, which I mean realistically means you shouldn't miss them. So I'm gonna test that out with uh, some Nami Iza. Damn it, I almost got it. And then last, but certainly not least, is the, uh, the differences in patches. So now, not only for this patch, but, you know, just in the future in general, is, um, there's going to be conquest patches and non-conquest patches. The non-conquest patches, hold on, this is mine, get away from me. The non-conquest patches are, please don't kill me, are going to be basic things like percentage damage increases on gods or percentage damage increases on minions, yada yada, shit like that. As you can see, you see this little spiral thing. This is Giannis's non-conquest balance, which does include rank duel. Like I said previously, it does include rank duel. So um, I'm going to be doing as Giannis an extra 10% damage to all enemy gods. In this case, just Nuwa, because, you know, dual, but those are going to be new things that are going to be in Smite every single patch. So I think it's good because as of right now, I know Bakasura got buffed and he's pretty overpowered, but they can focus a lot more on fine-tuning dual this this way. So I actually think it's a step in the in the right direction. I'm very happy that... They decided to uh, to start doing something like that. They realized that not everyone loves playing Conquest. And <clears throat> us, us dual people need a little bit of love sometimes. All right. Hold on. Hit the two. Big damn. Big damn. Dude. I don't know. 10% extra damage. Really? Like, you feel it, bro. You feel 10% a lot. And there are some gods... That even got bigger upgrades than 10% more damage to gods. There's some gods that got buffs that are like minus 10% damage taken, minus 10% alt cooldown, and plus 10% damage to gods. So, like, you can get some crazy ass uh, stat changes from these patches. And I'm all for it. But specifically, specifically right now, as Danny Phantom, I'm feeling pretty fucking pog. Oh my god. Bro. That all. That all charge up. Ouch. 
Jesus Christ, man. Look at my nombies. Look at the pumping. Hit him with the slow. Hit him with the two. Oh my god. Hold on. The one. The two. Oh my god. I have four HP. Holy Jesus, dude. That was close. All right, let's back. Uh, I think I'm going to go straight into Chrono's Pendant right now. That was close. I almost died. I'm going to go straight into Chrono's Pendant because I want to abuse the 60% cooldown, man. I want to abuse it. And not only that, but like the more portals and twos you can see as Danny Phantom. I just want to say like right out the gate. I think the high resist skin team is second to none. Like I think they are the best. They're the best art design team in gaming. Like period. I got the red. Get away from me. And hit him with the two. Holy fuck my numbies. Come here, Nuwa. Come here. Yeah. Got him. You're dead. Deceased. Let's go, man. All right. We got that killed. And Chronos Pendant is going to be 1,700. Oh, my God. 2,150. I couldn't have been more wrong. I don't have Boombas, by the way. Like, the, the damage I'm doing to these camps is, like, it, it's so much. I want to see how much my ult hits for, but I don't think I'll hit it from this far. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Also, can I just take a second and look at the portal on the wall? Like, look at this shit. And then, not only that, not only does he have that portal, but then look at this one. He chucks it and it's a ghostly portal. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. I don't think they've ever done that with, uh, with Giannis, and I could be wrong. But I don't think that his his one and his alt ever did different portal designs. I could be wrong though, like I said. Alright, hold on, I got my Chronos pendant. One more. And I'll grab a Aegis and I'll walk over there. Drop the one. Alright, now with Chronos pendant. You gotta be scared, my dude. So now, does the bobble, the cooldown bobble have, ouch, does it have cooldown on it? That is 10% cooldown. So I got to build an extra 10% cooldown because with Chronos Pendant and upgraded Sands of Time, I'll have 40% and then I can build the bobble, which will give me an extra 10% and then I can build like a Genji's Guard for an extra 10%. My one just did 300 damage. Will those kill? Will my portal kill here? I do not do that much damage. Not at all. Where are you? Found him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit, dude. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I do so much damage with this, like, non-conquest buff thing. Holy crap. I just took him to Chunkin' Donuts. All right, there we go. Red buff down. I go back, and I get tier 2 bobble. This bobble's going to give me 10% cooldown, which is going to cap my, my cooldown at the moment. Um, I feel like the the design, the picture art right here is a little bit stretched. Like the resolution is weird. Like you open it here, it doesn't look that weird. But did you open it here? It looks weird. I don't know. Minor complaint, I guess. It's not really a complaint. How much is this bobble? Thirteen hundred. You know what's? You know what I just thought about? In duel, this does lower your damage and your healing by twenty percent. But if you play a god like Giannis, who got that ten percent damage to God's buff. I'm only losing 10% damage. 
in order to get 20% cooldown. That is so worth it. That is incredibly worth it. All right, where's my man Steve? Trying to chuck an alt at him. I don't know where he is. There he is. Okay, okay, okay. He ulted me. The fuck? How much is this? Nice. I can go grab it. Get my max cooldown. Once I finish this item... I will only have 40% cooldown while losing 20% damage, which is a little bit dumb. But I can go with, like, Genji's now. Also, by the way, these are not exclusive. You can buy if you wanted to. You could literally buy all four earrings at the same time. It's pretty insane. Okay, so I do, like I said, I only have 40% cooldown. And I'm losing 20% damage, so it's not super sick. I just need... 20% more cooldown. I'll get 10% for my Saints of Time upgrade, obviously. So I'm thinking I'll just run a Genji's, which is going to give me the 10% I need. 10% more that I need. Hit the portal. Ow. My whole fucking existence. Uh, I guess I just farm right now. I mean, I can't really do Bull Demon. What is that? Oh, CC. Right. Okay, because... Like I was saying earlier, they changed the way CC and DR works. So you have different buffs and whatnot. Oh, I thought he was going to push me. Is there any damage item I could grab that has 10% cooldown so I don't have to go defense? Cooldown. Power. I can just go Pythax. Or Soul Gem even. I like Soul Gem on Giannis. I'm down for a Soul Gem. Chuck one of those bad boys in the build. Oh, we got his we got his Aegis, but wasn't enough to kill. Dude, I love I love the alt. Holy fuck. You know, uh, you know that Scylla skin eleven? Where her alt is literally her picking up a car and throwing it at someone. I like this alt just as much as that. It's so cool. Alright. You're clear and wave. I'm vibing. If you press 2, I think I'm okay now. Because I can just do that button and then like not worry about it. Did that catch you? No, it didn't. Oh, man. The buff had one HP. I almost stole that. Soul gem. I'm only 300 gold away. Go for the portal. Miss the portal, obviously. And then I'll just kill the wave and run. Dude, the fact that I'm still doing 400 damage with my two. Without the benefits of the cooldown. Like, I'm only getting the negatives right now of Sphinx's bobble. And yet, I still feel like it's good. For some reason. It's just the conquest change, honestly. The non-conquest change, I mean. Alright, I can go grab Soul Gem. Perfect. I now have 50% cooldown. So, my 2 is on a 4.5 second cooldown. Okay. That seems pretty good. Once I get my next cooldown item. Once I get my next cooldown item, like once I upgrade Sands of Time, won't my two be on a three point something second cooldown? Like, is that not fucking insane? Bro, he can't he can't step up. He can't step up. What's up, Nudewa? Oh shit, he's going the Sphinx's Bobble too. Dude. What's my alt cooldown at? 
55 second Yon assaults without max cooldown. Ouch. Oh, he hasn't he hasn't gotten the bobble yet, dude. I'm so nervous for when he gets it, cause cause once he gets it, he's gonna start hurting, dude. Oh my god. All right, I can go upgrade my thing, which is perfect. I now have max 60% cooldown. My three is at a six second cooldown. My alt is every 44 seconds. My two is every 3.6 seconds. Literally every 3.6 seconds. You can't run from me. You literally cannot run from me. Where are you going? You can't run. Oh my God. I'm like permanently Sonic fast and I permanently deal massive damage. Well, not not because the numbers I actually deal are high, but because of the fact that I uh oh my god I can go Boomba's hammer with this. Oh my god I can go Boomba's hammer with this. Wait a second. I can go sixty percent cooldown with Boomba's hammer. Oh man, I should have thought about that before. That's insane. Dude, this is crazy. Are you guys seeing what's on your screen right now? Like what the fuck is happening? What's the game plan, man? What's the game plan, Stan? Oh, I missed all. doesn't matter. I'll have it back in 40 seconds. Bro, what in the fuck? I'm chucking everything I own at this guy. Dude, this is just... <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, man? What in actual fuck is happening? Dude, Giannis feels kind of oppressive right now. Like, with all my cooldown, I just do whatever I want, whenever I want, all the time. It's like, what are you going to do about it, really? I just this because I'm not a bitch. Okay, okay, okay. Holy... And I, even if I wanted to, I could go more bobbles. Now, obviously, there's no point in that for me right now, but I'm going to go into Rod. Oh, what are, what are the new tier fours? This one? Basic attacks and abilities deal 25% when they're lower, right? But then also successfully damaging an enemy god with an ability applies a mark, damaging them a second time with an ability, consumes a mark, provides you 10% movement speed, reduce your non-alt abilities. That's fucking massive. I'm all for it. I didn't buy it yet because I didn't have the gold, but I will buy it. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This is just dumb. Like, I'm throwing my twos out for 600 damage. Literally as fast as Hebo 1. At, like, at the same pace as Hebo 1. That's absurd. That's insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase of, Sphinx showcase of Sphinx's Bobble and, obviously, Danny Phantom Giannis. Um, let's, let's peep the windscreen. Oh, shit, the laser eyes. Oh, dude, the scream. Yo, I wonder if he would make a good cleaner because of the scream. And the laser eyes could have been the uh, 
the alt. Like a pair of ghostly laser eyes. That would have been dope. Anyways, doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.